And now to our lab, where we put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. <laughs> ah, that really hurts. Just don't try anything like this at home. Today, we're looking at our blood. This is blood. It's not human blood, but it's almost exactly the same. Now, without blood, you'd be dead. That's because your organs need blood every second of the day to keep them working. So if someone's had an accident, the most important thing to do is stop the bleeding. Blood isn't just a liquid. It's actually full of red blood cells. And your body makes two million new red blood cells every second. And all these blood cells have a really important job. They carry oxygen from your lungs to all the cells in your body. When you breathe in air, it goes straight to your lungs and travels through little sacs called alveoli. And it's their job to transfer all the oxygen to your blood. When it goes into the lungs, it's this very dark, almost black, reddish colour. When it leaves the lungs, it changes colour and becomes a very bright red. Look at this vein in my hand. It looks bluish because it's full of dark coloured blood that hasn't been to the lungs yet. I can show you the direction of flow in these veins. If I squeeze the blood out of this one, you see I've made it disappear, and then you can watch it refill from this end. And now it's on its way to get oxygen from the lungs, where it will change colour. Nice, isn't it? I can do exactly the same thing. And you notice, the other thing you see is how quickly it refills. So if you imagine the blood just it feels like that, doesn't that. It? So a red blood cell starting there will be back in my lungs really quickly. To show you what happens when your blood visits your lungs, we've got a piece of really high-tech equipment. So we're going to use this blender... That's my blender. <laughs> we're going to use Chris's blender really? to whisk oxygen into the blood. Let's see what happens. This blood has started to form clots, so it's thick and lumpy because it's outside the body. That's what happens to your blood when you get a cut. It reacts with the air to form a clot which glues the wound together, eventually becoming a scab. All right, now let's make a blood shake. <laughs> By swirling it around quickly, the blender is putting oxygen into the blood. This is what happens when you take a deep breath. The oxygen is put directly into the blood and it makes it go a bright red colour. It's great. It looks like a blood smoothie. There's no such thing as a blood smoothie. It looks like a strawberry smoothie. Well, it's still your blender. Yeah, thanks for that. So we've shown you the way that blood goes from dark red with no oxygen in it to bright red and oxygenated. And that's what's happening in your body right now. All the new red blood cells are collecting oxygen from your lungs as you breathe and delivering it to every cell in your body. <laughs>